Those mail-in ballots could have been for anybody they wrote in. Those mail-in ballots could have been written the day before by the Democratic Party hacks that were all over the convention center. What I'm saying to you is not a single one was inspected as the law required. Even when a court order was obtained to allow the Republican inspectors to get six feet closer, they moved the people counting the ballots six further feet away. It's really simple. If you have nothing to hide with these mail-in ballots, you allow inspection. I mean, this is common knowledge, common practice in the examination of absentee ballots, which happens all the time. You take out the absentee ballot, you open it up, the Republican looks at it, the Democrat looks at it. If nobody objects, you put it in the pile. If either objects, you put it aside. That's what's done for absentee ballots, which have the extra security of having signatures you can match. Here, which is a much more insecure method of voting, no Republican got a chance to look at that ballot. Some of the ballots you will see look suspicious. From very far away, they look like same pen, possibly, possibly same handwriting. We can't say that because we never got to see it. And now, you're also going to find that way across on the other, other side of the state, there is a similar situation in Pittsburgh involving 300,000 ballots that were uninspected, unreviewed, not observed by a single Republican. Not a single one. It's got to be a pattern. As a friend of mine says, I don't believe in conspiracies, but I also don't believe in coincidences. Kind of funny that all Republicans were rejected here, and all Republicans were rejected in Pittsburgh, and it amounts to about, gee, just about the 700,000 votes that President Trump was ahead by two days ago that disappeared. And we have no way of knowing because we were deprived of the right to inspect if, if a single one of those ballots is legitimate. That is unheard of, it's illegal, it's unconstitutional, and we will be bringing an action challenging that. And I emphasize to you, it's only one of the many other infirmities in this election. I know this city has a sad history of voter fraud. After all, Joe Frazier is still voting here. Kind of hard since he died five years ago, but Joe continues to vote. If I recall correctly, Joe was a Republican, so maybe I shouldn't complain. But we should go see if Joe is voting Republican or Democrat now from the grave. Also, Will Smith's father has voted here twice since he died. I don't know how he votes because his vote is secret. In Philadelphia, they keep the votes of dead people secret. At least that is something that you can be commended for. I'm not attacking the people of Philadelphia. I'm attacking a decrepit democratic machine, which has a lot of other reasons to be attacked. It's been around for 65 years. You keep electing the same people. The city gets no better. The crime goes way through the roof. The riots you have, the police stand by and watch it, not because of the police, because you have a mayor that lets them stand by and watch it. You got a district attorney who lets people go free. You are poorly served, ladies and gentlemen of Philadelphia. And then you got a political machine. <laughs> mayors, <laughs> mayors who let riots take place. District attorneys who set criminals free. I don't think they're gonna care much about ballot fraud. This is outrageous. In an enormously important contest, with a very, very suspect method of voting, there was no security. Zero. The people of this city, the people of this country, have no assurance at all that those ballots were actually cast that would have to have been almost unanimously cast for Joe Biden in order to catch up. And let me have one or two of the people, let me emphasize, this is only 
two or three of about 50 people so far that have given us statements, affidavits, recordings. We're going to have many, many witnesses. It's not a small case. It can be a big case. But I wanted you to get the flavor of it here in Philadelphia because we also have to alert the people of Pittsburgh that the same fraud was done to them as here. And I'll also add, same thing was done in Georgia. The same thing was done in Michigan. The same thing was done in North Carolina. Seems to me somebody from the Democratic National Committee sent out a little note that said, don't let the Republicans look at those mail-in ballots, at least not in the big Democratic hack cities that we control. We've done a lot to destroy those cities, and now we're going to destroy their right to vote.